Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here, back with some more digital marketing advice. Now, in today's video, we want to talk briefly about avoiding probably the worst mistake I've ever seen in digital marketing, and that is forgetting to either renew your business domain name or forgetting to pay your website hosting bill and your actual website goes down because you don't have hosting anymore. Now, it sounds crazy. You're probably sitting there thinking, oh, this would never happen, but it does happen. I've seen it more, uh, happen more times than it should. So just a really quick sort of reminder and piece of advice that you need to be aware uh, of all those kind of critical things around your website. It's not just a case of saying, I've got a website and I'll leave it at that. Be aware of when your domain name comes up for renewal. Be aware of how your hosting works. So for example, do you pay your hosting directly? Uh, do you have a web developer through whom you pay the hosting? What happens, for example, if you work with a web developer who pays hosting on your behalf and you effectively pay them back? What happens if there's uh, you know, a late invoice that you've paid for them? So you know, maybe you forget to pay a bill to them. Do they suddenly turn off your website? Is there notice or warning they'll give you? Um, same with your domain name. This is actually a really common one with a domain name. You might have engaged a website development agency or a freelancer to build a site for you. You've said, this is the domain name we want for our business. Go out and get the domain name for us. They control that domain uh, because you, know, you didn't want to sort of bother with the process. Well, when does that actually come up for renewal? Do they know? Do you know? Is there a record of the summary or is there a reminder in a calendar, for example? So you know a week out from your domain name renewing, you need to go and renew it. Um, how does that process work? If the person at that business, for example, who's built your website, who registered the domain name, goes on holiday or stops working there, does someone else in the business know how to go in and actually uh, renew that domain name for you? Typically speaking, just on this topic, as the business owner, uh, you know, you should really ideally register your domain name yourself. I'm not a big fan of seeing businesses uh, where you effectively outsource the registration of your domain to a third party. Better to actually register the domain name properly and then any competent web developer or designer, if you're not building your own site, is going to be able to work with that in terms of actually using that domain to point to the site they've built for you. But long story short, be aware of your domain name and website sort of renewal and hosting policy and uh, when that comes up for renewal, what it's gonna cost, all those kind of things. Because as I say, I've too many times actually seen it where yeah, a website has um, gone down because someone has literally just forgot to pay the domain name renewal bill or they didn't get the notification it went to spam and then you know all of a sudden it's oh our website's gone down and this looks terrible and we're missing out on sales all because of something that was you know a twenty dollar domain name that uh, would have taken five minutes to renew if someone had been on the ball about it. So make sure you understand this, make sure you understand the implications of things like how your website is hosted, what the sort of uh, process is for renewing that if you're paying directly, or if you're paying through a website development company. It's pretty common that you'll have a sort of service level fee, for example, or service level agreement that covers hosting uh, on an ongoing basis and also some time maybe for maintenance and upgrades. But yeah, what happens if there's some kind of dispute or problem or you can't pay your bill uh, you know, on time? Does that mean that that web development company has the ability to turn off your website there and then after you know, your invoice goes overdue? Or is there a process they would work through? Be aware of those kind of things. Have a plan to deal with it if it goes wrong as well. But yeah, do make sure you're across this stuff because it's a really simple mistake that does get made more often than it should, but it can have a very detrimental impact on your business uh, from a digital perspective. So yeah, hopefully you find that helpful. Please do like this video, subscribe for more digital marketing advice. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments section and I'll see you next time.